One of the first factors we're going to talk about today is pH. pH stands for potential of hydrogen, and it is a logarithmic scale that goes from 0 to 14, 7 being neutral. So anything that's under a 7 pH is considered to be acidic. Anything that's over a 7 pH is considered to be alkaline. Your blood has to stay alkaline. It's an absolute must. There's two things your body spends its entire day doing. Actually, it spends its entire life doing. One is to regulate your temperature. Your temperature has to be about a 98.6, and if it goes up or down too much, what happens? We die. It's that important. So did you ever think about the fact that if you put, you take a mouthful of ice, that your body immediately has to do some regulating to make sure it doesn't drop your body temperature too low? It, it, we're amazing machines, you know, so your body regulates that temperature. But did we also know or learn in school that the body spends its entire day regulating pH? Well, it's true. And I was never taught that. I mean, we all remember as kids, our mom sticking the thermometer under our tongue, but did she ever, did she ever put a pH strip on our tongue to test our alkalinity? Well, it's just as important. So your blood maintains about a 7.3 to a 7.4 all the time. Now remember, you have other fluids in your body besides blood. You have your water system, you have your urine, you have your saliva, it's all part of your water system. So the, the other fluids outside of your blood can be extremely acidic. But here's how your body works. When you put something in your mouth, let's say it's a 4 pH. Let's say it's a hamburger, and that hamburger is a 4 pH. How does your body bring that hamburger from a 4 up to the 7.3 that your blood has to be? And, and you do realize that the hamburger becomes part of your blood. We, do you, does everybody understand that? When you put something in your mouth, it becomes part of your blood. It gets dissolved, digested, and put throughout your entire system. So that hamburger is a 4 pH. How does your body bring it from 4 up to 7? I'll tell you how. It robs itself. It robs itself. It will take calcium from a knee joint. It will take magnesium from your eye socket. Do we wonder why we're wearing glasses at 30 years old? It will rob from anywhere in the body, and this is called your buffering system. All of us have a buffering system. Without that buffering system, we're dead. The majority of what we put in our mouths are acidic, and that includes our drinking materials and water. But I really want to drive this point home because you, you have to understand how important alkalinity is to the body. Now, everybody wakes up in the morning and you have something called your energy pool for the day. There's a certain amount of energy you have, and that's it. When that energy's gone, it's time to go to bed. You need to rejuvenate, right? So if your body is spending its day and your energy pool neutralizing all the acids that you're putting in your mouth, why would you expect to be energetic? Do you understand why you're craving soda all the time? and coffee all the time, or you have this crash in the middle of the day. Your body is using all of your energy supplies to buffer the acids that you've been putting in your mouth. I mean, I was guilty of the same thing for decades. It, I was so shocked when I found this information out. And of course, I put it to the test, and my life changed so dramatically, just like yours will.